He right. and Jonathan Taves fans near and far showing up in full force for tonight's emotional send-up. And WGN's Jenna Barnes joins us live from the United Center with more on that part of the story. Jenna. Yeah, Ray and Lourdes, for fans, this is very much a where were you when moment. And for so many of them, they didn't want to be anywhere else but here at the United Center to send off one of the greats. A sea of Taves jerseys filed into the United Center. Fans eager to watch their star in action one final time. Witnessing uh, history and uh, legacy. The final na national anthem for Jonathan Taves. The captain's history of 15 seasons, 10 playoff appearances, and three Stanley Cups. Jonathan Taves' legacy lives in these fans. I mean, he's the reason we watch the Hawks, and I mean, he was my first jersey. I've watched him ever since, you know, like 2008, 2007, when I was in high school, and watching them progress this much and become, you know, a staple of the NHL. Um, definitely gonna miss him a lot. Taves' impact is most apparent in the next generation of hockey players he inspired. Team Canada, um, the Olympics, I saw him score an overtime goal, and I just saw him, I'm like, that's my favorite player, and I just, then he's a Blackhawk, and that's just how it rolled out. When Mason Fouser heard the rumors this game may be Taves' last, he and his dad booked flights from Canada so they wouldn't miss the moment. It's the 14-year-old's first trip to Chicago. Because he was my hero forever, so thought I'd come see him before he was retired. Great leader, that's what, how I always wanted to be, how I try to be. Um, three Stanley Cups, that's hard to do. I, that's a dream. A dream the youngest fans will hear about from their parents for years to come. She got to be a part of it and experience the, the last of it, but then she'll get to grow up and have the new era coming through and bring me to the games. <laughs> And the fans we talked to bet this isn't the last time they'll see Taves here. They're hoping he'll be back down the road for his jersey retirement. We're live at the United Center tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.